Greetings to the twelve tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth, and to the Gentiles called by the name of Yehovah. Shabbat Shalom and much love family for you are the reason of our time like truth, because the time is simply near. Just as you see the days goes by, as we all see the days goes by, and so draw nigh the coming of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Just as the Malak of Yehovah said unto Yehovah, the Revelator, sealed not the prophecies of this book, for the time is near. <laughs> How so near is the time? Just a step to the door. Mm, just a step to the door. Exactly what we are doing here, family. The the end times are prophecies, uh, signs and dreams and preparing people, body, house uh, for the return of King Yahushua HaMashiach, our eternal bridegroom to whom our tent, prosperity, worship, glory, ribo, praise and honor, Iborobos Karababayo, O Ribo Riches, Eternal, Maribo Santayababo, Seke Baba, to the glory of His magnificent for the Yehovah, the Almighty, and to the Ruach HaKodesh, the forever pure energy, the very ablaze to one, and the DNA of Abba Yehovah, Oriba Shandayababa, Rekos Klebobo. Hori ma my eternal husband Abbe Yehua, you have been worshipped in the temple of your handmaid. now using the voice of trumpet or using a trumpet or the trumpet as a voice we don't struggle at all at all we don't struggle like I always love to say that trumpet or sand precedes every single movement of Abbe Yehovah that which he has already said to you and me or prophesied thousands of years ago right in Exodus 34 verses 10 is about to happen, is about to succor, is about to surface that unique vision or uh, that unique glory reserved over there, a thing the world has never ever known is about to come. Mm -hmm. what, what, what could that be? <laughs> the coming of his son. That's what we are talking about here. The coming, we, go, we are going to see him just the way he is. In the power, you know, when he first of all came, over 2,000 years ago, it just came like a baby. Of course, the world have already seen that. But this one, the world hasn't yet seen it. You know, coming with such a great glory. Mm, a full grown-up man. Mm, the lion of the tribe of Yahudim. Mm, may peace. <laughs> may peace. And put your house in order. That This is the nature of this segment. In any way you have been hypnotized, mm -mm, you can still do it before you appear or so. Mm. The Ruach HaKodesh has already said it to you and me. Let him that have ear hear what he himself has already prophesied almost 2,000 years now to, to you and me. Why did he say so let him that have ear hear? Yes, because he knew simply 
third part of humanity is going to be hearing the voice of dragon again. Not that they are deaf. Are you deaf physically? Of course not. But you have death. You you the ear is closed spiritually. Eh? You are not you're not beginning to be here. You're not beginning hearing the voice of the dragon. And eh? what is the voice of the dragon? It is that I have abolished the law. Okay, I done away with it right in Genesis 3. That is his voice. Because as soon as the first woman heard of that voice you are hearing today, she go for it. Eh? By so doing, the royal law was being, you know, contaminated. Exactly the voice we are hearing today from the circle. <laughs> Jesus representative and said, Jesus has abolished the law. Islam said, the royal law is corrupt. It corrupt. In another words, Allah abolished the law. All right. So that was why he said, like him, that have you here, here because he knew Third part of humanity is going to be hearing that same voice again. And uh, indeed, they are hearing the voice of all cleanliness. Because the voice of righteousness said, Think not that I've come to abolish, not at all. The first heaven and the first earth is no more. That is the criteria that the royal law is being abolished or has been done away with or be fulfilled. All right? Please, I forget this. The signs of the last day say something to you and me. Powerful, very deep. Israelites are the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics and Native Americans scattered throughout the earth. The Judah team has an agenda to make all the tribes Hamite. Matthew 24.4 says, to take heed that no man deceive you. Hey guys, the gig is up. I'm not the real Jesus. As a matter of fact, the fellow's name wasn't even Jesus. He had a Hebrew name. Wasn't a letter J until a few hundred years ago. <laughs> With that being said, I have fooled the whole world into the biggest sham of all time. The name and identity of the real fella has been taken over by me. <laughs> there are thousands of paintings of Jesus, and they don't even come close. Jesus was the creation of the Roman Catholic Church, which served to replace the real fella who probably. Prior to this, I got a precept because the royal law makes it so clear. The royal law makes it so clear that precept has to be upon precepts. So right now here I am Revelation now uh, two of nine, and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent is the phrase, okay? That old serpent is also being called dragon. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, is the footnote. Because his job is to deceive the whole world, okay? The whole world. He was cast into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. All right now. Now, okay now. Let us, you know, uh, roll away this a mountain of ignorance. How are we going to do that? By preset. You know, preset has to be now upon preset, okay? Precept must be upon Precept, lie upon lie. Take here a little and take there a little. Let's take from Quran. Here we are, like you know already in my presentation, this is Allah, how Allah is being, you know, uh, spelled out, uh, written in Arabic, just like a snake. The other said, this is a for the snake, and this is how Allah is being written, okay? I see if this wasn't enough. Let's go now. The old sample we are tracing now the origin of the old sample has an origin. Okay, it's right here on earth, just as we read. It's been cast out here on earth. Here I am, Quran Surah 3 54. And they, the unbelievers, plans to deceive. And Allah plans to deceive the unbelievers. And Allah is the best, you know, of deceivers. The second witnesses, Quran 7. Uh, verses 9 and uh, 99, excuse me. Are uh, they Quran Surah 7 verses 99? Are uh, they then saved from Allah's deception? All right, no one feels safe from Allah's uh, deception except those that shall perish. That is a pure law, okay, except those that will not believe Allah. 
Okay, in the code, in the notion, that's what he's saying. Now, the, the other witnesses, out, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, testimony should be established. Here we are in the third Quran, Quran Surah 8, verses 30. And remember, when the unbelievers plot, uh, plot deception against you, O Muhammad, to imprison you or to kill you or to expel you, they plot deception, but Allah also plots deception. And Allah is the best of all deceivers. And the royal lawyer says something to you and me that that old serpent, old serpent, it is Allah, is the dragon, is the Leviathan, okay, is the waster, is the destroyer, is the spoiler of lives. Uh, and that is Allah, Sharia law is on this way. That is why he's the greatest of all deceiver, okay. So here is the real snake. You see how Allah's, Allah's name was being spelled out or written out in English or in Arabic. Exactly the logo is over here. The logo is a snake and is a snake, the old serpent, the best of all deceiver. Christianity still believe that uh, Yahushua died, he was buried and he resurrected. He ascended, he is the son of the most High, and he is almighty. They believe that. You know, Allah said that is a lie, okay? Judah, his car was the one who goes to the cross. That is why he's the best of all deceiver. Allah have no son. That is why he's being called the best of all deceiver. He's greater even he has PhD, you know, in telling lies. He's greater than the Christian though. He's greater than the whole world. The scientists said there is no God and Elohim. And the atheists said there is no Elohim, you know, the unbeliever. But Allah is the best of all these ones, okay? That is why he's been called the best of all deceiver in Quran from the very mouth of Allah. You just heard from, you know, the Allah himself. Here I am, Matthew 24, 24. For they shall arise false messiahs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders in us so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very late. All right. Here is Allah again in Arabic. is a snake, okay? In Hebrew... Uh, in the holy language, Allah simply makes curse, as in the curse sentence in Genesis 3.15. Therefore, he's coming to curse you, curse the whole world. If you refuse to receive him, Allah, therefore, he will curse you. And if you also receive me, receive him, that will be eternal curse, okay? And if you don't receive him, he will curse you temporary. But if you receive him, that is, he will curse you eternal, with eternal domination. This is Allah for you. And we are doing this very because there is a great stipulation extended to the elect. And said if it were possible. Okay, the manifest Messiah and Christ, um, first prophet, we already see that already in the Christian. That is why Allah is the best of all of them. All uh, these uh, groups that reject Yahuwah, Yahushua, Ruach, HaKodesh, Allah is the best of all of them. Or oh, why? Allah is the great serpent. Okay, is the dragon. Is the great dragon that old serpent that first of all abolished the royal law right in Genesis three. So we are just doing this for the sake of the elect, for the sake of the chosen, that they won't also be utterly deceived by the wickedness of Allah and Jesus, the Jesus and Christian ghost fire. They are one because Christian ghost fire. It is the very Allah himself Mich Mika, and people here we are in the heavily cut room of Abbe Yehuwa with this powerful message I must say a life giving message life resurrecting message mm. this is going to you know bring out our bread, bre brothers and sisters in this dungeon of the wickedness of the wicked one after this message because it, we are going to talk about power we are going to unveil the mystery of power okay right now it goes like this all right in the heavenly cut room of abi yoga title from the mouth of abi yoga the mouth full of fire filled with fire the mystery of power <laughs> i take it again the mystery of power reviews yahushua god the biggest pennies mm, pennies mm -mm. part one or i'm not gonna do part two i pray abe you will help me to end it today because i have another powerful mysteries coming next week which is simply goes this way the mystery of voice it is also heavy powerful another glory inside glory it is is that message next week so i'm gonna do all my best today to make sure i finish 
this mystery of power today that I, it will be extended to part two. So right now you got a title already. What did it call? The mystery of power reveals Yahushua God, the biggest penis. Mm, no part two. Okay, just part one. So family, before we go run, run this race <laughs> to know this mystery of power that reveals Yahushua God, the biggest penis. Uh, uh, it is awesome. Let's look into what is the royal, uh, excuse me. I would love to set the stage. It's like I'm so much excited today to dig into this mystery <laughs> of my husband, Yahushua HaMashiach, Yahuwah, and the Ruach HaKodesh. So here I am. I will always love to set the stage with Deuteronomy 32, 1 to 4. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth. That is what I'm about to give unto you, earth. Give your ear as already, heaven has already, you know, release his release this mystery into my uh, spirit the mystery of power reveals Yahushua God the biggest penis I take it again give ear O ye heavens and I will speak and hear O earth the words of my mouth my daughter shall drop as the rain my speech shall distill as the dew as the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass because I will publish the name of Yahuwah that is what I'm doing now. Yahushua got the biggest penis. That is the power. Rebobobo Skyaba published in the name of Yahuwah. The sons say I have come in my father's name. John 5 uh, 43. Yahuwah. Because I will publish the name of Yahuwah. Yes, I'm going to publish, publish his name. Also his power. The mystery of his power. Ascribe ye greatness unto our Elohim. For he is the rock. Uh -huh. His work is perfect. Perfect for all his ways are judgment, a Elohim of truth, and without iniquity, just a right is he. Lift me higher, yeah. Mama, mama, All right, now, family. Before we start, finally, finally. So right now, let us take a deep breath or a deep look into what is the royal love for. How does it play it out in your life and in my life? It functions as a sacred marriage covenant between Yahuwah and his people, Yazrael. Point two. It outlines how the marriage would function, its stipulation, and what makes it a happy and a fruitful marriage. Point three. It operates and describes how the marriage would function. Point four. It are what pictures tells what marriage life would be like. Point five. Its judgment describes how each of the partners would relate to each other. Point six. For either party to violate this agreement, violate the marriage itself. Point seven. For the group promise never to violate it because the groom is Abbe Yehuwa. He has never ever broken his word. He don't have the appetite at all. He's so powerless when he come. To break uh, in breaking of his word is so powerless. That is why he said to stop this, you know, argument with these uh, uh, two Im immutable uh, things, which is not possible for Abba Yawas to lie. He can't. His word is yea and amen forever. That is the guarantee you and I have today that heaven is ours. Not this mad Jesus that says Shabbat is perpetual and now is no more perpetual until the heaven and earth packs away the royal lost they can and now even though we still see the heaven and the first earth yeah Jesus said I have abolished it and I bring in a Babylonia mm -mm, is a mad thing okay it's what is here Yahuwah's word Yahuwah's word is here and amen forever one more warning before we we'll start the race, you know, I start the presentation already. I will keep doing it. It is the seal of Abba Yehovah. Like I always say, Abba Yehovah reviews to redeem. In my vision, reviews unto me that I saw in my, we'll just downloaded all this unique vision. 
and not that you want to use it to uh, uh, praise, play, uh, uh, praise Abba Yehovah, but rather to pervert it. Rather to pervert it. We are destroying Jesus over here. Rather to pervert it. Abba Yehovah said this is how they are going to remove their hand from this unique uh, vision. He is digging out these days in me to reach out to his last people. Okay, now say po they see this is the see you hey wahe one just like that of FBI one. Okay, this is that of Abba Yehovah from the heaven lixer. Now it goes like this. I don't care how few of the viewers is this day. it doesn't really count for anything any anything at all. He said the day one sinner repent, heaven celebrate. Okay, we are not after multitude, we are after the lordship of Israel and also the chosen gentile. That is what, what that is what we are here for every shabbat the royal law said the day one soul repented heaven celebrate that is the one soul we are after heaven rejoice the day just one soul repent heaven celebrate okay so in order for heaven to celebrate that is why we always go out on, on every shabbat to win just a single soul all right so the pre presentation continue goes like this if you listen and watch this of unique vision i bet you was digging out these days and you download it to resound it under the voice of you. And you now said Jesus gave it to you. Uh, Ebola will attend you in Yahuwah's mighty name. And if you download this vision, you want to resound it under the voice of you. And use it to please any deity such as Allah, ghost fire of the Christendom, and Jesus. <laughs> the causes of Sapphiras, uh, Sapphiras and Ananias. We attend you in Yehovah's mighty name. And if you download this vision, you want to resound it under the voice of him. And you not place any money making obligation, condition, such as, you know, sowing or seed. That is the trick the Christian is using this. They will say they are not selling it, just plant a seed. If you dare it, the hottest place in the link of fire shall be your dwelling in Yehovah's mighty name. And we know all these tricks the Christian is using. You can justify. You can say that to yourself. You know that sounds all things. I can achieve. They are message, they are prayer, point, they are music. Every, I mean, every single thing they are selling. You can testify about that. You can bear me witnesses of that. So you don't download and say. Freely you receive, receive the royal laws and freely pass it out. So the poverty side outside the, 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 the scripture to validate that, you can see that in Joshua 6, 26. You can find that in Acts of Apostle uh, 5, uh, 1 to 11. You can find that Acts of Apostle 13, 6 to 12. You can find that in Revelation that consummated all, Revelation 22, 17 to 19. If you obey, it is blessed. If you don't obey, it is cursed. However, if you download this message and you want to resound it under the voice of you in pleasing Abba Yehovah, also to reach out to the Lordship of Yisrael, double portion, double glory, double honor, shall be your portion in Yehovah's mighty name. And you will rule and reign with King Yahu. You shall never by no means miss heaven. You will have a throne of honor, ruling and reign with King Yahushua for all eternity in Yehovah's mighty name it goes in this both way now i haven't said this or oh, with this being said let us run this race of this unique vision i be your what dig out and that mystery of power reveals yahoshua got the biggest penis mm, let's go into that now Karaka bose yi, bose ndere rabo. Karaka bohi ye ye, karaka bohi ye yi. Karaka bose yi, mose ke baru wa hakodesh oro bose yi. A new one fountain vision, a new one fountain vision, a flood of glory vision, a soul field vision. A water dry land vision. I call this vision eternal breath for the elect. A, a test quench a quench a vision. Oh Ribo Shandayaba. A spirit filled vision. A gay from the throne of secret loaded. Abba Yehua has come again with a F shaky vision. Now rent the cold. The mystery of this holy word called power. What is the title? 
the mystery of power reveals Yahushua got the biggest penis. Mm. We all need power in everything. We all need power. Everything in heaven, on earth, under the earth is done by power. Power is ability to get things done, to relate, to relate, excuse me, to relate, to work, to let capacity to influence outcome or to control one's environment, displaying authority. So let us undo it. Power unlocked. P, what did it go for? Rebo Shandaya Baba. I keep telling people, don't dare, my father he is fully loaded with mysteries. So right now we'll start with the letter P. What did it go for? Proclaim plants and pull down. You see? Say it out. Declouse it. Proclaim plants and pull down. Genesis chapter 1. As Abba Yawa voice it. As Abba Yawa proclaim. As Abba Yawa declare. As Abba Yawa pronounced. It come to be. Let there be light. Power. Let there be light. Power. And there was light. That is power. That is pure energy. We want to look into. And found in the penis of Yehoshua HaMashiach. So right now. Genesis. You know it goes in both. You will plant and you will pull them. It is power. It takes power to plant and it takes power to pull them. You see, in Genesis 1, Yehoshua plants by his power. And in Genesis 3, the serpent pulled them by his power, by his spoken word. He pulled it down. All right. Yehoshua, I mean, Yehoshua said, Yeah, Yehoshua, he created everything through Yehoshua. As he said, Let there be light. And it was so. Power. That is pure energy. And look at the serpent. Bereshit. Three. He also goes to the woman. Has Yahuwah really actually. He pulled the power. Uh huh. So we want to test the biggest penis now. But Yahushua got the biggest. Uh -huh. Right now proceed. So scripture to validate. We, we, I quote Genesis 1 and 3 already. So right now Proverbs 18.21. Watch out now. Proverbs, Proverbs 18.21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. If you love power, you eat the fruit to plant or to put the power. Yeremiah 1 verses 10 We want to see what what are we using power for? What do we need power for? It is in your tongue. It is in my tongue. Uh -huh. And we also have it, in, you know, in our vagina. Power. Excuse me. In our genitals. Power. That is where we draw the energy. And our mouth releases it. Here I am, Jeremiah. We are going to see power to plant and power to put down. Jeremiah 1, 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. Uh, and... Uh, nations here yeah, and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to tear down and to build and to plant. This is power. This is power display, okay? To pull and to plant, to destroy, yes, and to bring to life. Power, let's declose it. Power as you pronounce it. So be it. Mm. So let us see now what are we planting and what are we pulling down. The power is already been bestowed in your tongue and in my tongue. Just to proclaim, just to say it out. As you, pro as you proclaim and as you pronounce, as you proclaim, it comes alive. Uh, now, until you get that power. Uh, uh, Acts of Apostle 1, 1, verses 1 to 10, but I'm taking it from 3 to 8. As you proclaim it, it comes alive. To whom Axel he showed himself alive after his passion for many, uh, for many infallible approves, uh, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of Yehovah, 
power is given unto us to do the works of the kingdom. For and be uh, assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Yerushalayim, but wait for the promises of the Father, which which uh, saith he, ye have ye have heard of me. For ye who can naturally baptize with water, but ye shall but ye shall be baptized with the Ruach Hakodesh. Not many days ends, all right. Not many days ends. You need to wait for that power. If not, somebody is going to pull you down. Six now, and when therefore we are come together, and when they therefore we are come together, they asked of him, saying, Adonai, with thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel, because we are in the need of restoration. We need power. Seven, and he said unto them. It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which Yehuwah, which Abba Yehuwah had put in his own power. We speaks of power over here. But ye it now. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Ruach HaKodesh come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Yerushalayim and in Yehud, uh, Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth Ori Baba Shanda, for you to do the work of the kingdom you need power for you to prophesy and to speak the real thing you need power for you to worship Abbe Yawa in truth and in spirit you simply need power power we got the power so let's see how they got the power he said don't go eh until you receive the power don't move because we, we are dealing with spiritual authority once powerful deity don't play games and they <laughs> even though they, they, they will pull you down mm? instead of you to pull that they, they will pull you down and here is where the power is, was being given uh to not other opposed to two and when the day of your shavuot was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and they appeared unto them clover tanks like as of fire and it sit upon each of them and they were all filled with the Ruach HaKodesh and began to speak with other tongues as the Ruach gave them all trances read it all unto uh, he said to the four corner of the earth you're gonna bear me these witnesses so when that power came what did they do eh let's see one more thing they do with the power uh-huh to put that in hand and to plant in in hand and they pull down the kingdom of darkness and they plant the kingdom of Yahuwah and then I begin to plant so in righteousness they did a radical movement when you go to chapter three oh robo bo bo at the end of chapter 2, excuse me, 3,000 so were planted as a prophet right away in just one ministration <laughs> into the kingdom of 3,000 so Imagine that. That is huge. Just in one segment, just in one touch of Abba Yehovah, power! 3,000 so were planted. And from just these 12 apostles, this radical salvation spread out through them today you and me get of salvation you and me god know what is yehuwa through just 12 that is called power to plan they plan salvation and they pull down the kingdom of yehuwa just as he was already ordained there to tear the kingdoms nations and all these wicked principalities are right now and power let's see one more here i hear second corinthians 10 4 for the weapons of our welfare, we are in the front wall, are not carnal. They are not just flesh at all, but mighty through Yahuwah to the pull it down of strongholds. We are the way God that stronghold. Genesis 3, he pull you and me down over there. So we are pulling him down again. You do me, I do you. Cast it down, imagination, sir. As you imagine that wicked thought in your heart, you begin to speak against us. And every high thing that exalts himself and gets the knowledge of Yehovah. we see where that exaltation took place genesis 3 you need to pull that uh-huh and bring into captivity every thought 
to the obedience of Yahushua Hamashiach. I, I hang it over there. You can do you the, can do the finishing. To captivate every thought. Where did that thought that exalt himself and gaze the knowledge of Yahweh? Where did it took place? Genesis 3. Therefore, you need to take that thought captive now. What was the thought to send it to the link of fire? Therefore, through the power of Abbe Yehuwa as you receive it, you need to captivate that thought. As you pronounce it, life and death is in the power of what? Tanga. We say the tongues of fire. He said, don't leave Yerushalayim, but wait. We have been waiting for this wonderful great day to resurface in our life. And so that we got the power in the rebels. Now, let me tell you the picture if you don't want, if you don't wait in Yerushalayim, if you wait in Greek, if you wait in Rome, if you wait in where uh Babylon, that power, you know, you, you, are, you are going to get the counterfeit. That is what we are going to because Sepher also have panics, but it's always so so small compared to Yahushua Hamishiaka. We are coming to because that is where we, we, we draw the energy from uh, from our genitals, it came from there. So right now. Act of Apostle 19, take you from 11 to 20. You're going to see people that does not wait in their Yerushalayim to receive power. Okay? Now what happened? The one that received it in Babylon, which is the demon-possessed man, <laughs> when I go, the seven sons of Skeva, we are doing this. That will go to a demon-possessed man and say, I cast you out in the name of Yahushua, whom Paul preach. Whom Shahu preach, Apostle Shehu, Wait in Yerushalayim and he received that power. We see it in Acts of Apostle chapter 9. But these seven sons of Skeva never wait, never receive nothing. They never wait for the power. They just come and begin to dig into someone's effort. The effort of Apostle Show. You want to dig into it? That demon has said, Come over here. I'm going to pull you down. Just one man overpowered several men. He beat hair out of them. He tore their claw. They all run away with uh, naked. A bleeding with blood. That is how powerful if you don't know your right. If you don't receive the right power, the, 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 the lesser power or the counterfeit power or the duplicate is going to pull you down just as he pulled down <laughs> the first man and the first woman out of Apostle 19, 11 to 20. So we proceed now to the second point. If you don't wait in Yerushalayim, that is Yerushalayim, it is the city of the king. Yerushalayim, it is the presence of Abba Yehuwa in what? That is the royal law. If you don't stick with the royal law for you to get this power from above, therefore, you, there's, uh, the, there's, the spirit that beats seven sons of Skeva is also here to beat you down. Like he already, you know, beat down John C. Sully Drago. That is how he's beat it there. So right now we proceed to the second alphabet. We simply call what O. And what did that go for? I keep telling people, they're not my father. Ha <laughs> ha, he's fully loaded. Ha <laughs> ha, with ministry. Ha <laughs> ha, you want to try? SP. We are going to see the biggest penis now. Right now, what did that go for? O, oh, isn't it? What did it go for? Who oh, mini what? Who oh, mini he 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 Oh, mini dash. Oh, mini he. Re ba 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 se ke ya ba ya ba. Ah, they're not my father. Omnipotence. What did that go for? Simply means Yahuwah is all powerful. Omnipotence. Yahuwah is all powerful. And how did that work? It's all powerful. It's all powerful. So we are going to see how is all powerful. How all power belong unto him. First Peter 5 11. Yeah, right here. Uh, to uh, to uh, all power. And glory and dominion belong to Yehovah forever and ever. Amen. Say all power, all glory, all dominion belong unto him. Dominion. We will come into that. Now Psalm 62. Tehali 62 verses 11 said. Once have I heard, and twice, uh, once Yehovah has spoken, and twice have I heard that all power belong unto Yehovah. Here I am, Colossians 1, 15 to 20. Who is the image of the invisible Yehovah, the firstborn of all, uh, of every creature? For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Can you see devil with your two naked eye? No, it's invisible. But he did create all. 
whether they be uh, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things we are created by him and for him and he is before all things and by him all things came into be uh-huh you hear that for it 19 now for it pleased the further that in him should should all fullness dwell f all fullness so this is how all power belong unto him okay the power of devil of course the power of serpent yeah yeah he belongs to him mm? power to do wickedness of course he belongs to him that is how he got the power he holds all power which is always a power of course it belongs to yehuwa a cut is it mm, it belong every single power belong unto him that makes sense that is how he is being called homeopathic all power is all powerful use the power for wickedness it is his power use it for good it is his power all works together he said whether dominion whether principalities whether powers he made it all that is correct abba yehovah is that is omnipotence is all powerful we want to see the true essence of him uh-huh Ezekiel 1 27 to 29 and I saw his fire and I saw as the color of amber um, uh, as the appearance of the of, of fire around about within it from the appearance of his loins even upward from uh, even upward and from appearance of his loins even downward I saw as it were appearance of fire and he had brightness round about it and the appearance of the book okay right now yes i just want to talk about that do you see okay now do you see abba yehovah is powerful in his true essence it is fire a blaze it is fire all through is the blazed one but yeah now consume hebrew uh 12 29 say it is a consuming fire uh-huh when you also go to Exodus 3, uh, 2 to 3, he was the fire, the bunny bush, but yeah, the bush wasn't, you no, know, consuming. From head to toe, Abiyawa is ablaze, but it's not consumed. That is pure energy, people. Exodus uh, 24, 17. And the sight of the glory of Yehovah was like a devouring fire on the top of mount uh, uh on the top on the top of the mount in the eyes of uh it was just fire his presence is is a, is a blazed one can serpent set fire can a serpent set set himself ablaze he will roast to ashes okay or can the devil or can jesus or can allah they will just burn to ashes <laughs> because they get the the, the, the smaller pennies that god the smaller, smaller pen is very, very little thing, you know. <laughs> you know, so women that like big dick. When they see some men with little thing, they say, oh, this one, <laughs> you are not the type. <laughs> you can't do nothing. I, I have to do so much, eh? When it's so small, therefore, I have to do all the job. Therefore, you, you've been disqualified. I need a thick one that I don't have to do, not only just to relax and be enjoying it. Okay. So that is what, what that is what that is power. That is a pure energy we are talking about here. Pure energy. All right now. Okay, Leviticus where nine. Oh, my father. Leviticus nine twenty four. It said Abiyowa is fire. Okay. I would like to read some part. I would also like to skip some part. Okay, now I'm gonna read this. So now you can read all First Kings chapter eighty. We 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 they were testing power to see who have the bigger cock. <laughs> Abba Yehuwah and the serpent. The first they were testing power. So now who got the biggest penis? I'm gonna read thirty eight. Then the fire of Yehuwah fell and consumed the burnt sacrifices and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And where all the people saw it, they fell on their face and said, and they said, Yahuwah he is the Elohim. Yahuwah he is the Elohim. That is Yahuwah God of biggest penis. It's pure energy, okay? Yahuwah to Halil, 114 verses 5. 
Bow the heavens, O Yahuwah, and come down, touch the mountains, and they smoke, and they shall smoke. That is pure energy. When Abi Yahuwah just touch it, the mountain, it catch fire, it burns up. That is pure energy. Now, first King, eight twenty seven. But we Yahuwah indeed dwell on the earth. Behold, the heaven and heaven and of heavens cannot contain thee. How much less this house that I have built. I have built it. In another ways, Abi Yahuwah is so big. He is so mighty. He is so powerful. That is what is worth your power. When you bring all your power down to this very earth, <laughs> we are going to crush. And we, all, we will turn to shaft. Okay, is almighty, is, is bigger than heaven. Mm? So, this is the true essence, true essence of Abbe Yehuwah power. It is pure energy, pure fire. Job, 20, uh, Job 36 26. Behold, Yehuwah is great, and we knew him not. Why is it say Yehuwah is all powerful, but we don't know, we can't comprehend it, not at all. Neither can the number of his years. Be search out. Do you know how old Abba Yowa is? Can you? In a nutshell, there's never no way we can comprehend. This is the few we can talk about. We can't fully comprehend the complexity of Abba Yehovah. Yehovah, he is a conscious uncontainable energy force that control everything in heaven on earth and in abyss he is the sustainer a breath of all both the living and dead through his uh, unmeasurable power horrible shandaya bayaba the totality of Abba Yehovah's power we can't comprehend. The sun gets his power from Yehovah. The moon lights up at his command. The stars shine forth at his mercy. The ray water the earth by his spoken word. All the seas, all the four seas, carried out their duty by his ma mandate. The twelve hours of the night missed it not, neither the twelve hours of the day. Neither the second hence minutes, uh, seconds hence a uh, time clock, the time, the hour, the seconds, and the minute they miss it not. He He So we can't so we cannot truly comprehend Yehovah's power. In order for us to comprehend him sometime in our small mind, that is why we simply refer to him as the one who was, who is, who will be. Do you know where Yehovah come from? Do you know? Do you know where he come from? Can you tell me? Who gave birth to him? Who is his family, brother, sister? Where yeah, is his father and his mother? Who oh, bring him into our existence? All right now. The answer is a big capital. L, uh, no. Any O. It is big capital. Big capital. N O. So therefore, no way from eternity to eternity to mention his wealth, uh, wealth, uh, wealth, his uh, 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 horrible shandayabaya. Vastness, he is all inclusive, incapable of deficiency. He is the pure, horrible Shandaraba. He knows all interrupted power that works in all and all eternal, et, et, eternally. He borobo Sandaya Baba. Abba Yehova, he borobo Seleya. Abba Yehua, he must sent a little boy and the rebel. Abba Yehua, he go robos carabo. Abba Yehua, he must sent a labu and the rebel. 
So, you know, Abba Yehua has three uh, distinctions of him. He divided himself into three beings. Yehua the Father, Yehua the Son, Yehua the Ruach HaKodesh. Now we are done with that part. Right now we are going for another O. Hmm? We are in the mystery of O. This is dedicated unto him who holds the power. Who has, who gave my power? Now the second O, what does that go for? No, Robo Shantaya, Baba, Baba. We see the first O, omnipotence. Mini Abba Yehua is all powerful. So the second O, what did it go for? Omniscience. Uh, Omniscience simply means what? Yahweh is all knowing. Is all knowing. Oribo Shandaya. Now Yahuwah is all knowing. If you read Genesis Bereshit chapter 1, the very beginning of all things, if you read that chapter 1 with the mindset of Yahushua, you are going to find out over there, Yahuwah knew already the earth is going to fall. Yahuwah knew already, that is why he have an animal beast. He have the kingdom of anima, the very beast. He knew it already. So to me, when I got this understanding, I never, I never say any more say, serpent, you know, you pour the whole plants away. You know, it's about Yahuwah. He has the power to do whatever he feels like doing. And to me, I now rest my case in this manner and say, this is how Abba Yahuwah wants to first of all run the, his earth, the first turn. He want to run it in, the, in this way, both good and evil. He want to put them all together. So when he now goes now for the second turn, because the first service of this earth will end at the 7,000 year, which is the seven. He knew already. So that is how he wants it. Okay? He knew it. It's not surprise. It's not something that, you know, that just you know, uh, uh, takes him by surprise. Not at all. He ordained it so. He makes the serpent more crafty. That any beast of the feet to do that wickedness, all right. So he knew it, he knew okay. He, he set the man, he tested the first angel, he fell. He he he, 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 he fails the man, he tests the first man, he also fails likewise. So he knew that they would pass the exam. He knew it when you read Genesis chapter 1 with the mindset of Yehoshua and revelation be given, you are going to see every hidden treasure over there, all right. Now. Uh, uh, Yeshiyahu 46, I read 9 to 10. Remember the former things of old, for I am Yehuah, and there is no ex, I am Yehuah, and there is none like me. Okay, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my. Pleasure, everything I like, that is what I'm gonna do. So he knew it. He he or the serpent, he gave him the highest authority power, but he missed it when he tested. He, he said he can't test you when he not give when he himself don't give you the ability not to handle it. He gave power, but he didn't give up because this is just how he wants to run his first F. Okay, he wants to mix it together with good and evil. So, but the second one. There won't be evil anymore. This is how he just wanted to do it. He created a link of fire. This is just how he wanted. He knew everything. All right. Yeremia who 1 verses 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before that, before thou comest forth out of the uh, womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. He knew who you are. Before you came into existence, he knew you. Psalm 139, or through. O Yehovah, verse 1. O Yehovah, thou hast uh, searched me and knew me. Okay, thou knowest my dwelling city, excuse me, my down city and my uprising. Thou understand my thought afar off. Thou compassed my path. And my lay down and at uh, at acquainted with all my ways. Excuse me, thou art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Yehovah, thou knowest it altogether. Ah, thou hast uh, uh, beset me, uh, thou hast 
beset me behind and before and lay thy hand upon me. Such knowledge too wonderful for me, it is hard, I cannot attain unto it, is heavy. Where thou shall I go from thy spirit, or where shall I flee from thy presence? For I, uh, as if, if I ascend up into heaven, there art thou. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Ah, if I take the wings of the money and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there shall thy hand lay, uh, lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the might the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hath it not from thee, but the light shall, uh, shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For, the, for thou hast possessed my uh, rings, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works. And that my soul knoweth right or uh, will, uh, will, my substance was not hide from thee when I was made in the secret. And cre cre uh, curiously, excuse me, curiously, rough in the lowest part of the earth. If you keep ready, because say I cannot attend it. Such knowledge is just so powerful. It's too wonderful. I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get it. Yes, you can't comprehend it from eternity to eternity. You cannot. He knew all things. He knew your He knew all things. John chapter 4. Yahushua knew already. He said, I must pass through Samaria. Why did he say he must? I must. It, it is a must do for me. Because he knew already a, a broken hearted woman, a rejected woman, a bent woman, used and dumped woman is going to be, is going is going is going to meet with her right at the well of water. He said, I must pass through Samaria. There is a need for me to go through Samaria. In order to speak life into her, in order to be a complete man, in order for me to engage with her, because I knew now she needs life. She has been disappointed with a cis good husband, just use a dopper. Now, boyfriend, say, husband, you have married unto cis men, but none of them care for you. No one is even your husband. The woman said, I know. She might have been through a lot in life. She, that woman went through her here on earth, so she needs life. She must, you know. He said, I need, I must go through Samira. He knew the woman is, you know, going to be waiting or will be found over there. This is a woman that everybody rejected. This is a woman the whole country abandoned. They make full of her. They talk of her. They call her name, sir. But this is a woman and a twinkling of an Anna become evangelist. She was the first evangelist in the city or country of Samaria. Come, I have seen a man, a prophet who told me all I have ever done. Where they make him, they say, we did not believe because you said so, but we have seen it with our own eyes. This is the Yahushua, the savior of the whole world. Yes, he knew she's going to be right there waiting for him. One more to go in the second alphabet. Oh, mini what again? Oh, mini karaba yenderibu. Masekeiba. Karakabo say, Masenta ba ye, Karakabo ye ye, Karakabo he, Karakabo ruaha kadesh, Karakabo ye ye, Karakabo seke, Karakabo yande, Karakabo say. So the second alphabet, the third letter, uh, the third O. Oh, we we. You know, Abba Yawa, I said it already. Stop talking every time it's going. Uh-huh. What did they all go for again? <laughs> oh, many prizes. Uh-huh. Oh, many prizes. Uh-huh. Oh, many prizes. What, what, is, what is the meaning of that? Yahuwah is everywhere at the same time. It's everywhere in the four corners of the earth or in heaven on earth. Is everywhere at the same time time 
in fact under the earth is everywhere at the same time how does that works so let's prove that again how is him a law operating now in uh, in heaven on earth under the everywhere at the same time not just that he will attend to you it's okay wait for me i'll come back later let me also go and attend to my daughter not at all he is attending to me he's attending to you everywhere everywhere Look at that. Look at what Abba Yehua is saying over here. I love the power of Yehua. He has the bigger dick. Okay. Jeremiah 23 verse 24. Can any hide himself in secret place that I shall not see him? Saith Yehua, do not all feel heaven and earth. Saith Yehua, what is this talking about? He said, I'm the one that matters in heaven here on earth. He said, I feel the whole heaven by myself. I feel the whole earth by myself. Can you hide yourself? No, at all. He know where you are. Uh, it's everywhere at the same time. So let's see the mystery. Some of the mystery. How Abba Yehovah is in everywhere at the same time. Omnipresence. Everywhere at the same time. Genesis uh, 2 verses 9. And Yehovah Elohim formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul whether you are dragon whether you are demon whosoever you are doesn't matter how is he working with you now and me in everywhere at the same time it it is through the breath of life mm. when you see breathing in you are gone the breath you take in the hell it is Abbe Yehovah. That is how it is everywhere. The water you drink. Don't drink water, okay? That is how it is everywhere at the same time. The air that you breathe in. Okay? Uh-huh. The night hour, the day hour is everywhere. This is how it is everywhere. If you can see the day, is there. If you can see the night, is there. If you can drink water, is there. If you can breathe in, it's right there. Mm-hmm. He feel the whole heaven and he also feel the, he is the breath of heaven. He is also another kind of breath of torment that is going on in the link of fire. Excuse me, that one is not yet existing, but in the bottomless pit. You know, it's going to be fire. Mm. In fact, such knowledge is just too heavy. I can't handle. It makes me sick. Revelation 4, 11. Thou art worthy, O Yehovah, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and we are created he created all things oh demons mm -hmm. Sempe, yeah here i am matthew 5 45 that ye may be the children of your father which is in heaven for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good and sendeth a ray on the just and on the unjust. Did you get that? He take care of both good and evil. He is the one sustaining every. <laughs> okay, now everything. Revelation five thirty, and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them. Heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. Everything worshiping, everything, even those in the bottomless pit that do worship, they are the one under the earth. All right, now here I am, Job 12, verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom and deceived and the deceiver are uh, is both good and bad he said they are his property you that is going to be deceived both the one that is going to deceive you you are both his property okay hear what abba yahuwah is saying over here ephesians 4 6 one yahuwah excuse me one elohim and one abba for of all who is above all and through all and uh, in you all good or bad it control all okay that this is how it's everywhere at the same time okay bring me into your holies your holies of holies take me now into your mercy your holies of holies 
Rick is Karababa, Karababa yo. Rick is Karababa, Karababa yo. Rick is Karababa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rick is Karababa, yes, Karababa yo. Bring me into your holies, your holies of holies. Take me now into your mercy seat, your holies of holies. Rick is Karababa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Hallelujah. Bless you, Abba Yehua. We are done with the second letter. Now we proceed to the third letter, which is, which simply call what? W. All right. Now, what did it go for? It simply go for wondrous worth. Wondrous worth. I should have just put, rather, work to make worth. Uh, worth. No. You will know why I said wondrous worth powerful wondrous worth okay now deuteronomy uh 8 72 18. oh yes debori excuse me yeah deuteronomy mm -hmm. 7 8 72 18 and thou shalt say in the heart my power and my might uh my power and the might of my heart uh of my hand excuse me and thou shalt say in the heart, My power and the might of my hand have gotten me this worth. But thou shalt remember, Yehovah thy Elohim, for it, for it is he, for it is he that giveth the power to get worth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto, which he swore unto the fathers as it is these days. Okay, this is why he's being called wondrous worth. Now, from this point, I jot down from this very alphabet W, the third alphabet, I jot down about seven points. He has so much to do. Okay, uh, where is it? Let us see the hidden glory here in this seven points. Point one it is Yehovah wish for you to get this wondrous worth, it is his wishes for you. Third John, uh, verses two, chapter yeah, just one chapter verses two. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, in health, yes, even as thy soul prospereth. You see, this is the wish of Abba Yehovah that you should prosper both spiritually and physically, that you should be, you know, that you should be rich, that you should be, you know, wealthy in all things. It is his wish for you. Here I am, first king three verses thirteen. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall be not there shall be any among the kings like unto thee all the all thy days. This is his wish for you. Okay. Genesis one where you go there. You are going to find out Abba Yewa created every single thing you ever needed. He first of all provided it all before you came into existence. In another words, your prosperity or your riches or your wealth is older than you. You only came to meet rest. Okay? You never come to me suffering. That is his wish. That is why it's being called wondrous wealth because it is power to make money. Point two goes like this. This is about you and your part to play. In this wondrous worth. Now Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. Reading from 1 to 11. But I'm taking it for, from 4. Now when he had uh, left. Now when he had left uh, speaking. He said unto Simeon. Launch out into the deep. And let, and, uh, and let down your net for a cut. And Simeon answered. This is your part over here. And Simeon answered. said unto him. Master, we have taught all the night and, and have uh, taken nothing, nevertheless, agreement. Because wealth is already there waiting for you just for you to agree. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will lay down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish, and their net broke. 
uh, they beckon it unto their partners which were in the other sheep that they should come and help them and they came and filled up both the sheep so that they began to sink this is how powerful that is wondrous worth you know getting this wondrous worth you don't need to do so much the one we want to acquire by ourselves so that is the one we labor all night for labor all days for yet we are not getting it but when you agree, be in tune like that of King David doing the Yahuwah's battle, before you knew it, it would just surface so simple. And so that is why it's been called wondrous worth or miraculous. However you take it, it fits it. It goes for it. It simply fits it. Now point three. It is Yahuwah. Uh, where is it? Excuse me. Point three. Yeah. Yahuwah gives you the key. So let's see what he does. <laughs> Here we are, Matthew 16, 40 to 90. But I'm ready only 90 for the sake of time. When you be in tune, uh -huh, when you call the vision, uh -huh, the key is handled unto you. And I will give unto thee the keys, plural, okay? Plural. The keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven in other words what about your wife say the key to 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 unlock prosperity is not the key to lock it back to lock poverty in order for you to get in tune with prosperity or wealth or riches first of all there is skills in your head you need to lock the door of poverty as you use some to lock and use you use other to open that is authority. That is what is called power. Can you imagine you just, you know, be on the street, no key to enter the house? Exactly what the serpent did to us in Genesis 3. It chose all of us out of the house. And the door was being shut against us. But now Abba Yehua is giving back the key for you to return back home. That is the key to unlock, you know, the presence of Abba Yehua because you were once been chased out. Now the key is given unto his, 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 his wish. This is the wondrous, you know, because many is going, you know, many, many is going to be in the other way around. Many is going to be in the pit of hell. Many is going to lose it. Many is going to mix it. But he gave you the key. Come back home. Let's see what he does. So he gave you some key. He gave you keys to bind serpent that chased you out of your house and chilled him now. <laughs> And you lose your wealth, you lose your salvation, you lose yourself with another key. It's to unlock and it's to lock. Okay? Revelation 3, 7. I take it for 7. He that is true, he that is, he that hath heart the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shut and no man open. That you will use some keys because it was plural key to lock and key to open. The one you locked, it can never be unlocked. And the one you open can never be unlocked anymore. Because that is the authority. That is pure energy of Abba Yehua giving unto you. That is why it's been called wondrous worth. So the same language is over here. Uh, Revelation 2 7. I'm just going to take it. It said, To him that overcometh. Will I give to it of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which is no, which no man knoweth, as serving, as serving he that receiveth it. What is the white stone? That is new body, a glorified body, and it's also going to give you a new name in the kingdom. That is the key. I will. He gave you the key. Okay, he gave you the key to enter into the new kingdom. He gave you the key. That is why it's all around wealth. It's all around prosperity. He said that is his wish for you. Yeshua 45 verses 3. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. Uh, places that thou mayest know that I, Yahuwah, which called thee by thy name, I am Yahuwah of Yisrael. He is doing it for you, for you to know. What is the point? He gave you the key. You know, to prosper in life, to make success. All around, okay? The keys of darkness. That is when the dragon chases you out of your own house. 
uh, through sin, Abba, you want to shut the, 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 the heaven against man. And this is the key we are getting back through the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach for you to open your house and enter and enjoy the wealth of Abba Yehua. That is the treasures of darkness. We are how he locked it, he locked it, the dragon, the serpent, Abba Yehua will reveal it to you, will unlock And you will lock, lock it up with another key. That is judgment upon the serpent. You see, you see in that place it talk about riches. Where your prosperity has been locked, where your Eden's garden has been locked, where your rest has been locked, Genesis chapter 1, the goodness of Abba Yehua over there has been locked against you. Take the key, unlock it. Unlock it, okay? And after you have done that, another key, jail that power that did that to you. He gave you the key. So the fourth point it is Yehovah gift for you. It is Abba Yehovah gift for you. Not that you deserve it. Not that you, you, you know, you worked for it. It is just his gift for you. Here I am, James, James 1, 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, which whom is no uh, darkness, neither shadow of turning. Okay, is this gift for you? It's perfect for you. Perfect gift. Here I am, Bereshit, Genesis 15, 1. After these are things, the word of Yahweh came unto Avram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Avram, I am thy shield, and thy exceedingly great reward is a gift for you. And we see the exceedingly great reward, father of many nations, is a is gift for you. Okay. Uh, okay, let me just take you from 18. Behold, that which I have seen, it is good and commonly for one to eat and to drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor that he hath under the sun all the days of his life, which Yehovah giveth him, for it, for it is his portion. He made it before you were being created. It's, it's your blessing, it's your inheritance, okay? Every man also to whom Yehovah hath given riches and wealth and hath given him power to enjoy thereof. He gave you power to eat it thereof. Give him, give, uh, giving him power to eat thereof and to take his portion and to rejoice in his labor. This is Yehovah's gift and this is the gift of Yehovah. For he shall not uh, much remember the days of Islam because Yahuwah and Sarah in, in joy of heart. This is gift for you. Okay? Now the fifth uh, point. Yahuwah gave you power for this reason. For just this reason. He gave you power to make wealth. First, let's see why he gave you the power. Uh, Ecclesiastic. Uh, 10 verses 19 a feast is made for laughter and one maketh a merry but money answereth all things all things all things money needs to answer it for you now cast a band okay <laughs> this one is money talks okay you want to build a fine house like Deuteronomy 18 uh, 8 72 80 said you need money. You want to buy the latest car. You need money. You want to buy aircraft. You need money. You want to be among the powerful, strong men here on earth. You need money. Then <laughs> this is why it's been called wondrous wealth. We see in one day, in one hour, and the twinkling of an eye, Joseph acquired all this glory I'm talking about over here. Wondrous wealth. Now in your quiet time, you can read Matthew 25, 31, way down to 45. It gave you the wealth. It gave you the power for this reason. To make money, okay? For I was hungry. You feed me. I was in prison. Yes, that is another powerful reason. It gave you the wealth. Not just for you, for yourself. But for others. Alright, now we go for the six points. It is Yehovah thank you. For you. It is Yehovah thanks. For you. Not give it up on him for being there and remain faithful in the darkest hour during the rain ah uh, during the tough time you still carry the royal lord this is how he also said thank you wondrous wealth this is how he is saying thank you 
for being there, even though I delay my coming, even though I delay my answering, but yet you still keep proclaiming, you still keep, keep believing. You never give up on me. It is his thank you for being faithful, for being there waiting all night, all day, all year, all month. Yes, it is Abba Yawa, thank you. Say, it's another way of saying thank you for being faithful and to me. I'm not going to read here the book of Yashir 49, like that of Yashir. So if you're a constant follower, you know I always love to read it. But uh, I'm not reading that part today. Genesis 41, after a whole 13 years in prison, Yashir never gave up on Yehovah. We see how he gave him this wondrous wealth. Daniel 3. So I will read the Daniel 3. Here I am. You can read all Daniel chapter 3, but I'm taking it from 16. I'm going to be jumping over. Azariah, Bishir, and uh, uh, Ananias answered and said to the king, Nebuch oh, Nebuch oh, uh, to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our Yahuwah, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning uh, fiery phonics, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the uh, godly image which thou hast set up. So when the king he heard this, it was serious, okay? So I jump over now. How can I take it from uh, 23? And these three men, Ananias, Azariah, and Mishael, fell down, uh, fell uh, down, burnt into the midst of the burning fire. Okay, then Nebuchadnezzar 24. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in, in haste and speak and said unto his uh, counselors, Did not we cast three men burnt in the midst of fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. And he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of fire, and they have no heart. Uh, and the uh, uh, form of the fourth is like the son of Yehuwah. Then Nebuchadnezzar came nine to the mouth of the burning uh, fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, uh, excuse me, and said, Ananias, uh, Mishael, and um, Azariah. Uh, yes, servants of the most uh, high, I uh, come forth, and they and came either. Then Azariah, Mishael, and Ananias came forth of the midst of the fire, and the prince governors and captains and the king's counselors, uh, being gathered together, saw this a man upon whose uh, whose bodies the fire had no power, where the two power jam, uh huh. Nor where nor was any hair of their head uh, bent, neither were their cloth changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the Yahuwah of Azariah, Mishael, and Ananias, who have sent his angel and delivered his servant that trusted in him. And and have changed the king's word and yielded their body that they might not serve and nor worship any gods except their own Yehovah. Therefore, I make a decree, a decree that every people, nation, language, which speak any uh, uh, thing amongst and against the uh, uh, Yehovah of Azariah, Mishael, and Ananias shall be cut in pieces and their house shall be made a, a dark a dunk hill because there is no other Yehovah that can deliver after uh, after this sort. Then the king promoted Azariah, Mishael, and Ananias in the prize in the uh, province of Babylon. That God promoted. You see, it is Abba Yehovah. Thank you. They will be elevated to a higher position. Yes, it is Abba Yehovah. Thank you. Now one more point to go in this third alphabet. So we see the six points. It is a way Abba Yahweh say thank you that God promoted each one of them. Now, point seven, it goes like this. It is Yahuwah's a power of miracles displayed. This is the seven point that derived from the third alphabet. It is his miraculous power displayed among the hiddies. Okay, right now we are let's, let's also prove that. Precept it. Now the book of Adasa chapter 2, the one you call Esther. 
Others are chapter 2. I take from 15. You can read all chapter 2. Now, when the, uh, the, the tone of Adasa, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go in, to go in unto the kings, the requi she required nothing but what the what he got, the uh, king's uh, chamber, cham chamberlain, the keeper of the women, uh, appointed appointed and others uh, obtained favor in the sight of all them and looked upon her so others uh, was taken unto the king as as, as, as Zestos, into his house royal in the tenth month in the seventh year of his reign and the king loved others uh, above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of uh, instead of vasty then the king ma made a, f a great feast unto all his pr uh, princes and his servants even others uh, feast and he made a release to the uh, province and gave gift according to the state of the king. Do you see how powerful and awesome it, it is power displayed among the headings? This is a slave girl. This is a, 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 a person that, that, that Abba Yawa carried into captivity. This is an orphan. All of a sudden overnight. Th that is why it's been called wondrous word. Overnight she become a queen. A queen of the most powerful king. What power those days on earth. Just like she would be a queen or first lady of Donald Trump. The most powerful ruler on earth those days. It was this king. A slave and a Exiled woman have become a queen in another man's land. It is power displayed. It is about your what powers of miracle displayed among the hiddens. Okay. And this is the king that control almost the whole world. He control 172 countries. This little girl, this little girl now become his queen. A powerful mighty man here on earth. So this is how it works. Don't try to, you know, so because somebody powerful on earth, you don't need to do so much. What you need to do is to follow Abu Yawa's will, and he will shoot you over there. Okay, because he knows the way to Egypt, you know, where he, uh, Joseph, will become second in command of you, or king, of course. So the seventh very point, it is Abu Yahuwah's power of miracle displayed among the hiddens. Uh, Adesha chapter 6, verse, uh, uh, six I'll take from 6. So Emma came in, and the king said, this king again want to elevate another powerful, faithful man of Abba Yehovah. Overnight, he become again the second in command. So Emma came in, and the king said, unto Emma, what shall be done unto the man whom the king delights to honor? Now Emma thought in his heart, to whom would the king delight to do honor? more than myself and Hema answered the king for the man whom the king delighted to honor let the royal apparel be brought which the king useth to wear uh, and, and let the horse that the king ride upon and let the crown upon which uh, let the crown royal which is set upon his head and let this up uh, and let's and let this apparel and horse be delivered to to the hand of the one of the king's most noble princes or prince that they may array, array the man whom the king delight to honor and bring him on horseback through the street of, of the city and proclaim proclaim before him thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delight to honor then the king said to, uh, to him make haste and take the apparel and the ox and thou as thou hast said, and do even to it, and do even so to Mordecai the Yehudi that sits at the the gates, the king's gate. It was a gate man. Let nothing, let nothing fall of all that thou hast spoken. And uh, excuse me, then took a uh, hammer, the uh, the apparel and the ox, and arranged Mordecai brought him on horseback. Through the streets of the city and proclaim, and proclaim before him, thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delight to honor. It was so overnight, it became what you also read 
chapter 8, Adesa chapter 8, verses 2, they see it, second the command, like vice president was being given unto Mordecai overnight. So you don't need to do so much in to acquire this wondrous way. It comes from above. It comes from above. That is why it's being called wondrous wealth. So right now we are done with the letter W, which is the uh, third letter. Now we proceed to the fourth letter. So what did that go for? E, letter E. What, the, what does it go for? Extraordinary energy, a writ, a, 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 a writ, ejaculation. I take it again. Extra, uh, extraordinary energy, a writ, ejaculation. I'm sorry, I made a mistake somewhere. I take it again, the letter E. Extraordinary energy erect ejaculation for man to get ejaculated for woman to also pass out that arosa fluid. It takes extraordinary energy to get that done. Okay, so right now, I want to prove that we start with Abbe Yehovah. He got it, we got the biggest pennies. So here I am, look, chapter one, take it from 26 way down to 35. Angel came to deliver the good news. Okay, now I, I want to read from somewhere. I take it from 29. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind one manner of salutation. Or should I take it from there? Okay, right now. Uh, in the sixth uh, month, the angel Havre was sent from Yahuwah unto a city of Galilee named uh, Nazareth. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was uh, Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin name was Mariam. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou that hath highly favored, Yehovah is with thee. Blessed art thou among all women. Amen. Okay, I read 20 now already. 30 now. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mariam, for thou art found favor with Yahuwah, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahushua. He shall be great in he shall be great, and shall be called the son of the most of the highest. And Yahuwah Elohim shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign, yes, over the house of Yahuwah forever and his kingdom. There shall be no end. 34. And there said Mariam unto the angel, How shall this be? Seeing I am not a, I mean not a man. I am a virgin. How can this be done? How is that you was going to do it? Listen now. 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Ruach HaKodesh shall come upon thee. Listen, now when a husband wants to do that holy service, what, what, what did the man do? He come upon his wife. He lay upon his wife for that holy service to be given. This is sexual activities of the year. I don't care what you are going to think about it. He said the Ruach HaKodesh shall come upon thee. The first thing to be done when this holy service is going to be, you know, take place, the man come upon his wife. And that is how the Ruach HaKodesh did it. After the man come upon his wife, what happened now? Let's get the, the final words. And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. That is the power of ejaculation. After the, the husband starts the job, and what consummate it? What brings about the consummation? It is the power of ejaculation. And that is where men draw their energy from your manhood, from your penis. There you drag the energy for to do whatever you want to do. This is in this uh, this uh, back, back this is what I'm saying. I'm talking about the power of ejaculation, the power of conception, the power of planting seeds and the power of woman. Woman also have this power of ejaculation bringing forth now children. It takes power to push up. Have you been there? It takes power to bring it out after the rod has planted the seed. Through the power, extraordinary energy, erect ejaculation. It is not just making mouth. It takes extraordinary energy to do that. Bringing forth children, mm, like the science said, and I strongly believe, you know, because that says so, this is how powerful spam is. This is how this is the speed of spam. That when a seed is about to plant, implant a seed, it don't waste no time, it don't play no games. That is the extraordinary energy that push it out, the power of ejaculation. 
extraordinary energy gift brings about that. That in 50 miles, he, 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 less than two, he has to cover a race of 50 miles less than two seconds. He has to, sperm has to cover the race of 50 miles just less than two seconds. That is extraordinary energy. That is pure energy that, a rich, uh, that brings about ejaculation. Uh, here, one more, here one mystery. What is the power that is bringing, uh, bringing about this ejaculation? What is the power? What is the name of that homos? It is the seventh homos that brings about ejaculation. That a fox, that is the extraordinary energy. A rich, uh, erect, excuse me, ejaculation. It is being called interstitial cell stimulating homos. It is the seventh homos. What did that represent? The power of complement. No, but so it always be the number of heaven. The power of complement. The power of word though it is finished. That is number seven. Power of rest. You know, after man have you know grind and grind and grind is why when he not ejaculate, ha ha ha. Finally, let me rest so from this woman. This woman will also say, finally, let me rest from this man grinding. Yes. It is the power of rest. And this, this is the seventh homox that is being called interstitial cell stimulating homox. It brings about ejaculation. It secretes sperm. Okay. And this is the race of sperm. In planting of seed, it has 52 miles ground to cover less than two seconds. That is pure energy. Okay. We see it already. It said the power of heaven is going to overshadow you. That is the pure energy. That is the extraordinary energy. Okay? That causes ejaculation. That erects ejaculation. Now, here we are in the Old Testament, Exodus 14. I just read 16. But lift thou up thy rod. And stretch out, uh, and stretch, uh, stretched out thy hand over the sea, and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. How did this also happen? When woman wants to bring about, you know, children, what happened? Water goes out first. You see, after the rod, the staff, uh, the very agbalagba, after he has done it, therefore the hands now begin to work. What did he say to Moshe? He said, divide the sea with your hands. You see, when a woman is bringing about children, what happens? Both the nuns and the daughter, they play a part. You know, you see, the baby is pushy. Uh, the woman is pushy. Uh, the doctor, the nuns, their hand is walking in the vagina. Okay, now, try to bring forth that child from the midst of the water and blood. And we see that when the rod was being lifted, the Agbalagba <laughs> when Abayawa raised it up. When Abayawa have a rod, he have a big, in fact, the biggest penis. He holds it because he gave it unto you. Okay? And this is the vision. When I now begin to see some unlawful art of serpent in the temple of the handmaid of Abayahua, that really creates my heart. And I begin to ask about you, well, what is the meaning of this? You never made serpent to be a father, neither a husband product. Why did you give them penis? Neither devil, because I see all of them have a penis in the spirit. Right? Why did you give it to them? Since they are not husband material, uh, material, neither a material of a father, you never made them a father nor a husband. Why did you give the penis? Said no. This is what made them all male. This is where. If heaven don't have no female over there, not at all, they are all male. He said their penis is where their energy is. It's where their power lines are born for sexual activity. That is why you don't have no woman in heaven. But all angels have they have penis. That is where they draw their energy. That is where they where their energy lines are. He said that makes them a full man. That makes them man. That is makes man a man. He said that is the picture of what I have over in heaven. But and I also put that picture here on earth. But for the early one, you know, to do that is why also he did not create a woman from his own image. He created it rather from the man. He said, that is why I take the rib of the man because I don't have no female angel. That is why I, I took a one rib from the man. From the man, the woman comes. The woman is the property of the man. I did it for him. 
But for the angels, not so all oh, these demons, they will have a penis. Doing this weekend, especially when they are doing this, they are feast, they are Christian feast. It is sexual activity. I was grieving my spirit. What is going on here? He said, yes, that makes them male. Male. That is why I have all male in heaven. All angels have, you know, this is, is where that energy comes from. But not for sexual activity. That is why they don't make woman for them. So that thought is not in their heart. But for the serpent to take over here on earth and the devil to take care of the human here on earth, then I fall in lust. As soon as they hear where Abba Yehua, you know, put the plan, the plan was already in heaven before it come to surface here on earth. The plans of the man and of the woman, Abba Yehua, draw it already. He, he, he wrote everything down already, how the man is going to, you know, grant his wife, plant it in seed. Everything is being jotted down. That is well what the devil and the serpent stole away. They said we are going to do that for ourselves. That is why right away Genesis 3, 6, uh, 15, we now see serpent automatically is going to be a father. Yes, they do have a penis. He said that is where their energy comes from. That is why in heaven you don't have female. So that 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 penis in heaven is not meant for sex. It's energy power. Okay. I will say this very energy and power right in the Red Sea. When the rod of Abba Yahweh is being lifted up, up. He has some certain job to do. And that certain job, it is to split the water and break out his first fruit. Just like where the, 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 the baby head split the, 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 the vagina of the woman, you know, a fruit comes out of it. Exactly what Abiyawa did. So for that, that is how far I can go for now. But the time will come when I will blend the two power together. That is the power of uh, uterus or the power of vagina. And the power of penix. A time will come when I will do that subject. So that will be focusing on those two power alone. Baby coming out, it takes power, okay? Ejaculation, it takes power. And I bet you what giving birth. You say lift up your rod and divide. And we'll see those are sex idiom. It takes power. Okay, right now we we'll go for the very last point. Uh what does that go for a rod? So I'm gonna do more elaboration on the rod. Is the last alphabet arrow? I say it already. <laughs> I just voice it already. What did that go for? It go for rod of iron eternal. Don't get weak. Eternal rod or rod of iron eternally. It doesn't get weak at all. Only the fake rod that is separate make all men are to be to be having fake penis. Now as soon as they go into their woman one second times, one son can't even dare second two times. That only one time is, is gone. The penis is weak already. It's dead. It, it can uh, no matter what you would do. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's far away in the grave. Until we say, baby, give me something. <laughs> you know this job. This had uh, to climb this mountain. It takes strength. <laughs> it, my my is gone. Yes, but the very rock, which is that of King Yahushua, it is eternal. Even though you know it's gonna be a husband. Even they have to service his wife all night through. He is not going to leave his wife because his penis got weak. No, because I have to do other things. So if he has to grind his wife all night through, uh -huh, the penis is ever ready. Okay, maybe we are going to be hearing this testimony when Mary Madeline, Mary uh, Maria Magdala, when she come. We are going to be here. We, we will tell her to, please, can you share this testimony a bit for us? Yes. His rod, it is, it is the eternal rod. It can't get weak. Not at all. Not like that of men. Mm? So we are going to get a precept for that. So here I am. Revelation 12. I will take it 5 now. Yeah. And she brought forth a male child who is to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And our child was cut up unto Yehovah and to his throne. Okay, who was to rule the whole world with a rod of iron? His strength is the rod. This manhood for his wife is the rod. So we want to see how does that goes or works. Now you can read, read Exodus uh, chapter 7. This is where we'll see this rod, testy power, testy rod. Okay, I think I'm going to take it from it. And Yehovah, when he said unto Moshe, this is how you, I'm going to make you a god. Unto Pharaoh and uh, Aaron will be a prophet. He said, I'm going to come with my armies, angels of heaven, into this battle, okay? I take it from it now. And Jehovah spoke unto Moshe and unto Aaron, saying, 
where Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle for you. There thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take thy rod, and cast it before Aaron, and it, excuse me, and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moshe and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did as and they did so as Yehovah had commanded. Commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the uh, wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did did in like manner with their enchantment. Twelve now. Here's a bigger penis. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. You know, uh, rod. And this staff, that tongue's rod, was being given to Father Abraham. And Father Abraham passed it on to Yeshiak. And Yeshiak also passed it to Yaqub. And Yaqub now passed it to his son, Yehuda. When you go to, now to Revel uh, Genesis 49, that is why Yaqub pray that the scepter, the rod, shall not depart from the loins of Yehuda until Shalom's come, until Yahushua's come. He is the one to pick it up you know, and use it. So right now, what are we talking about over here? The rod over here, due to what we you know talking about, is to say panics, you know. That the, the 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 magician or the enchantment it is the penance or serpent that probably gave it. Why that of Moshe and Aaron? It is that of Abba Yehua himself. And we see right now for the point of four, uh, how Abba Yehua got the Maria pregnant. So we have a penance, we have a charm. <laughs> God has realized this, this is pure. We know Yahusha was best here on earth, not spiritual, okay? So that's how we don't rationalize it. So we take it just the way it is. We have a service and we also have, you know, charm. We know, everybody knows for a woman to put, uh, to bring, uh, put, uh, to bring forth a children, it takes sex. It takes sex activity, okay? Exactly what we see in Luke chapter 1. I bet you won't have a rod. Uh, this is the very biggest rod we see in this, you know, battleground. It said, arrow, arrows rod, now swallow up the arrows. In other words, when man ejaculates, that is the authority. That is how far man can go. The power, the penis will not, will, will not become good for nothing. Like a dead man. No matter what you will play, will not rise up anymore. But that of Abbe Yehovah still stands strong, eternal. If Abbe Yehovah have to have sex, spiritual speaking now, if he has to have sex, therefore Abbe Yehovah can be having sex for all eternity, but the, the penis will still be, you know, very hard. As iron, that is why it's been called rod, rod of iron. Okay, so serpent all has a limit time. As soon as no get ejaculated, it is over. It can come back to life. Uh, and I see that glory was being stolen from the man and being given to the female. Okay, now this is how man supposed to be. That no matter whether you go into your wife ten times. You are not going to leave your wife alone because your penis uh, got weak or is now weak. No, you are going to leave her alone because you also, also have to do other things. You have to play with the children. You have to go to work. You have to work for the family. That is the only reason why you want to leave her alone. Not because your parents, penis did uh, 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 get erect anymore. No. That glory was being given to woman. And uh, today many of them, they are using prostitution grant. Woman can have men, 10 men, 20 men every night. She got no tired at all. 20 men can, woman can handle them. I'm just using this filthy art as an illustration. Just send a picture for you to know what the devil has stolen from you and pass it on onto the woman. I'm not talking about baby raping child, no. I'm talking, talking about full grown up woman. She can handle 10 men a night. And the next day she shake up her body and go again. And the next day she shake up her body and go. That is how man supposed to be. That is the glory found in a woman. And man don't have that strength anymore. Woman have that strength. That is the strength. I said they will come on and going to blend the two together. Then you are going to know me. How woman is not powerful than you. When it comes to that area. You go once. Some marriage will go twice. It is finished. When you dare go twice. The penis is gone already. But for the woman. She is just like a grave. 
still needing more. Still needing more. If she's being exposed to the Western world, she still needs more. Only the villagers. Ah, I bet I don't tire. But international woman, sorry. They know and they enjoy what sex. They knew what sex is and they knew the very sweetness of sex and they enjoy it. Now back to the rod. That is how your rod should have been. And this weakness will now found it in the rod of men and will now also found it in the rod of the serpent. Because as soon as they ejaculate, the power was gone. And that of Aaron now swallow it up. That simply means to say, I bet you won't get the, he have the biggest pennies and he never get tired. Let's fight from now to eternity. I'm still very strong. How's my tell your wife? Let's have sex for a whole night. You you fat. That night, in fact, you are going to give yourself a low spam cat because you won't be able to handle the woman can handle it. You know that. You, you know I'm not lying. But you may you can't. So that is how far the power of men can go and the glory of men is being shifted down onto the woman that makes now the woman uh, the serpent that make her the godhead instead of you man being the godhead but the woman is not godhead the woman got that same ability not like that of father but woman can handle 10 may 20 my night she still need more tomorrow not that she's tired she just want go. She just want to go home and refresh, to uh, refresh herself. And tomorrow you find her again in that prostitution. I'm sorry that I'm using this beauty uh, uh, illustration, but I just want to give you the picture so that you understand what I'm talking about. That glory belongs to you, men. That is how you should have been, but now it's shift down to the woman. But somehow, some uh, somehow, some uh, some way, Abba Yehovah will still restore back the men of Yehuda back to this glory. Okay, because your, your your strength, your energy from your mouth, from your lots, uh, your, your mouth from your penis speaks a lot of your power. Okay, so right now, what is serpent? Serpent is rod, a rod is serpent. You will see that in Genesis uh, 3. The rod turns serpent. Okay, and serpent is rod, rod is serpent. That is another name for serpent. And we know serpent is the very DNA of Abbe Yehu. When you go to Isaiah chapter 6, Yeshi Yehu, they are the highest order of all angels. They are the highest authority of all angels. The serpent. When you also go to number 21, uh, 4 to 9, you are also going to see that fiery serpent. What is the seraphims, excuse me? What you, yeah, they are being called seraphims in numbers, uh, excuse me, in uh, Isaiah chapter 6, they are being called seraphims. Uh, seraphims in Hebrew simply means they are blessed ones, the burning ones. Okay, but that is plural. But when you're not taking a singular, it simply uh, is called seraphs. Seraphs simply means in English, in Hebrew, is seraph. In English, it simply means serpent. Okay, when you also go now to Isaiah 40, verses 29, the serpent was be also being called rod, and rod is serpent, and serpent is rod. Okay, so we see the rod. When you check, let me, let me put something for you. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I mean? This is life. This is how human beings begins. This is DNA. And now if you also go to our DNA strand, it's also crooked like a serpent. Serpent, they are the DNA of Abbe Yehuwa. They are the, very, they are the strength of Abbe Yehuwa. They are the power of Abbe Yehuwa. Okay? They are his DNA. This is how life begins. You see, it looks like a serpent. Did you look at it? Yes. This is the DNA of Abba Yehuwa. And our DNA strand is also like this, crooked as a serpent. So, serpent, it is Abba Yehuwa's DNA that brings about life. So, that is why rod is called serpent and serpent is called rod. And rod, now, due to this statement, it is Abba Yehuwa's penis, sexual organ. Okay? It represents Abba Yehuwa's sexual organ. Alright? That brings about the spam, the DNA of Abba Yehuwa. Did you look at it? This is the mystery. When I'm going to do this power of penis and vagina, we will deliberate more on it. So for I have up to four points also in this segment. So quickly now let us go to point one in order for me to establish it all. Because next week I have another powerful glory inside glory vision. That is this word called voice. It is more than always what you know. So right now point one goes like this. Holy power of Yehovah displayed through his son Yahushua HaMashiach and through his elect. 
His only power, okay, is displayed in ox. When you go to Genesis chapter 1, you're going to see how that holy power is being displayed. So let us see now. We also see how it's been displayed throughout the ministry of his son, Yehoshua HaMashiach. So right now we want to see how the holy power of Abba Yehovah is being displayed amongst us. Here I am in the book of Yahshua 53. I will take from 19. I'm going to be jumping over because I have a lot of reading to do over here. So right now, the book of Yahshua, the, the very popular Bible you carry, make references to the book of Yahshua. When you go to Joshua chapter 10 verses 13, it make references. When you also go to 2 Samuel 1 18, it make references. When you go when you also go to uh 2 Timothy or 1 Timothy 3 uh 8, you also make references to the book of Yeshua. So I'm reading from the book of Yeshua verses uh chapter 53. I, I take from 19 now. And Benjamin said, Thy servant is knowing also in all the wisdom which my father taught me. And Joseph said unto Benja Benjamin, uh Benjamin, look now at this instrument and understand where thy brother Yasuf is in Egypt, whom, whom you said went down to Egypt 20. And Benjamin beheld this instrument, which with the map of the stars of heaven, and was wise and looked therein to know whether uh, where his brother was. Uh, be, be, uh, Benjamin divided the whole land of Egypt into for division and his and he found that he who was a uh, city upon the throne before him was his brother Yasuf and Benjamin wondered greatly and when Yasuf saw that his brother uh, Benjamin was so much uh, astonished he said unto Benjamin what hast thou what what hast thou seen and why hast thou astonished and Beyami 21, and Beyami said unto Yasuf, I can see by this that Yasuf, my brother, sitteth here with me upon the throne. And Yasuf said unto him, I am Yasuf, thy brother. Reveal not this thing unto thy brethren. Behold, I will send thee with them when they go away, and I will command them to be brought back again into the city, and I will take thee away from them and if they dare their lives and fight for thee then shall i make thee then shall i know that they have repented of what they did unto me and i will make myself known to them and if they forsake thee when i take thee then shall thou remain then shall thou remain with me and i will not and i will be rough with them and they shall go away, and I will not become known to them. You see, power, holy power of Abba Yehovah will proceed now. Now, Ari 28. And Yehudah's hunger was kindled, and he said, Thus, uh, uh, he said, This man has only brought me back to destroy Egypt these days. The power of this God, dare not. And the, na and the man came to Yasuf's house. And they uh, uh, found Yasuf's city upon his throne, and all the mighty men standing at his right and left. And Yasuf said unto them, What is this at that you have done, that you took away my silver cup and went away? But I know that you took my cup in order to know thereby in what part of the land your brother was. And Yehuda said, what shall we say to our Adonai? What shall we say? What shall we speak? And how shall we justify ourselves? Yehuwah has these days found the iniquity of thy servant. Therefore, uh, therefore has he done this uh, thing to us these days. Now Yasuf rose up and caught hold, and caught hold of Benya Benjamin and took him from the br his brethren with violence, and he became to and he and he came to the house and locked the door at them and Yasuf commanded him that was set over his house that he should say unto them thus saith the king go in peace to your father behold i have taken the man in whom whose hand my cup was found so we go now to 40 54. 
So now I'm going to read from verses 11. I would have loved to take it from 1 to 2, but there is no time for that. If you have it, you can read it all. So how Yehuda breaks the door and enter and I begin to, you know, converse or, you know, communicate with yourself. I take 11 now. And yourself answered and said unto him, Surely strength belongeth not only to thee. Oh, should I? Yeah, he was talking about how powerful. Oh, my father, it's, it is the sake of time. And Yehuda said, okay, take from four. And Yehuda, uh, th uh, three, and Yehuda spoke before Yasuf and his brethren were there standing before him. And Yehuda uh, said unto him, surely when we first come, okay, let me go to four. And uh, now, therefore, let the king hear my words. Yes. And said, I pray. And said, I, I pray, our brother, that, that he may go along with us to our father. Lest thy soul perish these days with all the souls of the inhabitants of Egypt. 5. Doest thou not know what uh, two of us, what two of my brethren, Simeon and Levi, did unto the city of Shechem, and unto seven cities of the Amorites, and uh, on account of our sister Dina, and also what they would do for the sake of our brother Benjamin? And I, I, and I, with my strength, who am greater and mightier than both of them, come these days upon thee, and thou land, and thou land, if thou art unwilling to send our brother, has thou not heard what our Yehua, uh, who made choice of us, did unto Pharaoh on account of Sarah, our mother whom he took away from our father that he smote, uh, smote him and his household with heavy plagues that even unto these days the Egyptians relate this wonder to each other so will our Yehuah do unto thee on, on the account of our brother Benjamin whom thou hast these days taken from his father and on account of this evil which thou these days he passed over us in thy land and our Yahuwah we remember his covenant with our father our father uh, with our father Abraham and bring evil upon thee because thou hast grieved thy soul of our father this day now therefore hear my word that I this day speak unto you uh, spoken unto you and send our brother that he may go away lest thou and thy people of the land die by the sword, for they cannot all prevail over me. And Yasuf uh, answered Yehuda, saying, Why hast thou opened wide thy mouth? And thou doest and and why thou doest boast over us, saying, Strength is with thee, as Pharaoh liveth. If I command all my uh, all my men to fight with you. Surely thou and thou, uh, surely thou and these thy brethren would sink into the mill. And Yehuda said unto Yasu, Surely it become, surely it is time, the, uh, it is time for thee and thy people to fear me. As Yehuah liveth, I once draw my sword, I shall not shatter it again until I these days have slain all Egypt, and I will and I will command and I will commence with thee and finish with Pharaoh thy master. And Yasuf answered and said unto him, Surely strength belong not only to thee. I am a stronger and mightier than thou. Surely if thou drawest thy sword, I will put it to thy neck and the neck of thy brethren. And uh, Yehuda said, Unto him, surely if I these days open my mouth and gaze thee, I will swallow up thee that uh, I will swallow up, I will swallow thee up that thou be destroyed uh, from of the face of the uh, thou be destroyed of the earth and perish these days from thy kingdom. And Jesus said, Surely if thou open thy mouth, I will uh, I have power and mind to close thy mouth with a stone. Uh, until uh, thou shalt not be able to utter a word. Okay, for uh, see how 
many stone mm -hmm. ah, before us. Truly, I can take a stone and force it into your mouth and break that. Okay, now. So we proceed now to 25. So we start now from 25. <clears throat> and Yehuda said, Behold, the fire of Shem burneth in my heart. Now I will burn all I, now I will burn all your land with fire. And Yasuf answered and said, Surely thy sister in law Tema who killed your son extinguished that fire of Shechem. And Yehuda said, If I pluck out, if I pluck out a single hair from my flesh, I will fill all Egypt with its blood. At twenty seven, and Yosef answered and said, Such is such is your custom to do as you did so as you did to your brother whom you sold, and you dipped his uh, uh, garment in blood and brought it to your father in the in order that he in order that he might see and if uh, see an evil beast devoured him here is his blood and when Yehuda heard this thing he was exceedingly wroth and his anger burned with him and there was before him in that place a large stone the width of it which was about 400 uh, 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 a, a, a scale and uh, Yehuda's hunger was kindled and he took the stone in one hand and cast it to the heavens and caught with his uh, left hand and he placed it afterward under his uh, legs and he and he sat upon it with all his strength and the stone was turned into dust from the face of Yehuda. And when Yasu saw the art of Yehuda, and he was very, very much afraid, but he commanded Manaxas, his son, and he also did what another did with another stone, like unto the art of Yehuda. And Yehuda said unto his brethren, Let any one of you say, This man is an Egyptian, but by his doing <laughs> this thing, it is of my father house this is where they are beginning to suspect because you don't have the, the stronger dick and no you don't have the power you have a limit I, you do what i do no you saw uh -uh. 31 uh, and jesus said not to uh, jesus said not to you only is a strength giving for we are also powerful men and why will you boast over us all and Yehuda said unto uh uh, Jesus said, I ah, pray thee, our brother, our bro uh, brother, and turn not thy country, uh, and, and reign, excuse me, and reign not thy country these days. And Yosef answered and said unto him, Go and tell your father, an evil beast hath devoured him, as you said concerning your brother Yosef. And Yehuda spoke to his brethren, uh, to his brother, Nephtal, uh, Nephtal, 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 Nephtali. And he said unto him, Make haste, go now and number all the streets of Egypt, and come and tell me. And Simeon, and unto, and, and Simeon said unto him, Let not these uh, things be a trouble to thee. Now I will go to the mount and take up one large stone from the mountain uh, from the mount and level it at every one in Egypt, <laughs> and keep all them all in it. Thirty four. And Jesus said all these words uh, that he and Jesus heard all this word that his brother spoke before him, and they did not know that yourself understood them, for they imagined that he knew not to speak Hebrew. And Jesus was greatly afraid at the words of his brethren, at least they should destroy Egypt. And he commanded his um, son Man Manaxa, saying, Go now, make haste, and gather in unto me all the inhabitants of Egypt, all the valent, uh, valent, valent men, and let them come to me now upon horse, uh, horseback, horseback, and on foot, and with all sorts of musical instruments. And Manasseh went and did so. And Naphtali went as Yehuda had commanded him. Now Naphtali was a, a, a lifted leg. That is, it disappeared. It disappeared. 
you know, like it, <laughs> not them, my brethren. He disappeared as one of the swift as a swift as uh, stage, and he would go upon the uh, upon the elves of cor uh, corner, and they would not break under him. Okay. And he went and numbered all the streets of Egypt and found them to be twelve. And he came hastily and told Yehudah. And Yehudah said unto his brethren, Hasty you and put on every man his sword upon his loins. And we will come after Egypt and smote them all and let not a and let not a remnant remain. And Yehudah said, Therefore I will destroy three of the streets with my strength and you shall each destroy one street and with uh, and where Yehuda was uh, uh, sp uh, speaking these uh, things behold the inhabitants of Egypt and all the mighty men came towards them with all sorts of musical instruments and with loud shouting and their, and their number was five uh, five hundred uh, cavalry and on uh, and ten thousand uh, um, 10,000 uh, huxmen and 400 men who could fight without sword or spear, only with this hand, uh, only with their hands and strength. And all the mighty men came with great uh, uh, shouting, excuse me, with great stunning and shouting, and they all surround, surrounded the sons of Yakub and terrified them and gathered, to, uh, and gathered quickly. A, a gather at the ascent, uh, uh, excuse me, and the grunt quaked at the sound of their shouting. And when the sons of Jacob saw these uh, troops, they were greatly terrified, uh, afraid of their lives. And Yasu did so in order to terrify the sons of Jacob to become uh, to become tranquil. 42. And Yehudah, a city, uh, seen some of his brethren terrified, said unto them, uh, Why are you afraid? Why the grace of Yehovah is with us? And when Yehudah saw all the people of Egypt uh, surrounding them at the command of Yasuf to terrify them, only just Yasuf commanded them, saying, Do not touch any of them. Then Yehudah hastened and drew his sword and uttered a loud and a bitter scream and his uh, and his smooth with his sword and he smote with his sword and he spell upon the ground and he uh, still continued to shout against all the people and when he did these uh, things Yehovah caused the terror of Yehuda and his brethren to fall upon the violent men and all the people that surround them and they all fled at the shout at the sound of the shouting and they were all terrified and fell one upon the other and many of them died and they flee and they all uh, excuse me they all, and they fell and they fl uh, they all fled from before Yehuda and his brother and from Yasuf and while they were fl uh, fleeing uh, Yehuda and his brethren pursued them unto the house of Pharaoh and they all escaped uh, and Yehuda again set bef uh, uh, sit before yourself and roared at him like a lion and gave a great and his thunderous uh, uh, shout at him and the shout was heard at a distance and all the inhabitants of the uh, Sokot had uh, heard it and all Egypt quaked and all this uh, the sun excuse me and the scent of the uh, shout and also the wells of Egypt and of the land of Goshen fell from the sh uh, shaking of the earth. And Pharaoh also fell from his throne upon the ground. And also all the pregnant women of Egypt, at, uh, uh, of, of Egypt and Goshen miscarried when they heard the noise of the uh, sh uh, uh, of shaking for they were all terrified and afraid and pharaoh sent a word saying he borrowed shandayaba and pharaoh sent a word saying what is this thing that this that has uh this uh, that has this day happened in the land of egypt and they came and told him all things from beginning to end and pharaoh was alarmed and uh, wondered and was greatly 
afraid and his uh excuse me and his uh fright increased when he heard all this all these things and he went unto Jesus saying thou shalt bring uh, thou shalt uh, thou shalt brought excuse me thou hast excuse me thou hast brought unto me the Hebrews to destroy all Egypt what would what would I do with the uh, thief slave and him send him away and and let him go with his brethren and list not at least let and let and let us not perish through their evil even we you and Egypt and if thou desire not to send this uh, to do this thing cast off from thee all my uh, valuable things and go with them to their land if thou uh, delight in it for they will these days destroy uh, destroy my whole country and slay us all and slay all my people even all the women of Egypt have already miscarried through their shouting only see what they would do merely by their uh, shouting and speaking moreover if they fight with their sword they will destroy the land now therefore choose that which thou desirest whether me or the hebrew whether egypt or the land of hebrew so it was so immediately he let them go he released their he made himself known unto them i would love to read though as you can see there is no time we have i still have a lot of uh, about three points to cover while the time is going Please pardon my reading. I know it's not perfect, but I'm just trying to rush and put the whole mystery together. I wanted not to shift to part two at all. All right, now so we have we have done with the uh, holy power. How is how it, it is being displayed among us? So right now we want to also see the unholy power. Abba Yawa also have unholy power. That is to say, evil power, evil spirit, or evil power of Abba Yawa. That is what we want to look into now. We have seen the holy power. How is being displayed among us? His sense and the unholy power of Abba Yahweh displayed through Cain and Esau are hate. Okay, Esau are hate displayed the unholy power of Abba Yahweh. So let us all give, give a precept for that. So here is unholy power of Abba Yahweh, Amos 3 6, that is being displayed among Esau, the very one Abba Yahweh's hate and Cain lineage. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and Yehovah hath not done it? So here is a question for you and me. Let's see who answered this question. I bet Yehovah also answer it by himself. So there was there was a question laid out for you and me. But Abba Yahweh says, can any evil take place in the city, and I Yehovah did not do it? So let's get the answer again from him. Uh, Yeshiyahu 45 verse 7 for uh, okay I listen now I found the light okay so when you see the light in the day Abba Yawa said I am the one that caused it to shine upon you and creates darkness he said darkness okay I'm the one that also creates darkness and you know what darkness is evil spirit he said he's the one I make peace all right now. He says the one that make peace when there is peace in your family, there is peace in your congregation, there is peace in the land, there is peace in your society, there is peace in your marriage, there is peace in your uh, w w w uh, between you and your children. He said, I'm the one that gave you that peace when there is peace in the nation, peace on earth. He said, I give it to you. It creates evil. Oh, oh, create evil. All right now. He says the one that creates evil. So, what is evil going to do? It's going to make you. Uh, that is, is going to bring confusion. Okay, what is evil going to do? It's to give you confusion. Abba, you want make it so clear. Wherever you see confusion, you say I'm responsible. Okay, wherever you see evil spirit, or I am the one that did it. Okay, where there is no peace in your family, you say he's the one that's responsible. That is the evil, you know, to to to, to make you peaceless or to make you restless, to give you war. You say he's the one that did it. Okay. Abba Yahweh make it so clear that he is the author of confusion. When he now come to the camp of uh, uh, what he saw or hate, or the camp of uh, uh, what they call him, K, the unlawful bad children, he say he is the author of confusion over there. So the only way Abba Yahweh is not the author of confusion, it will be among his, his chosen one, the elect, 
his children. So there is peace within us. But that of the cup of the unlawful bad children, he says is the author of confusion over there. You see, they say, ah, I am the one that did it, okay? I, I, Yehuwah, listen, I see the signature of Abba Yehuwah. He say, I, Yehuwah, do all these things. Don't bless it, I, I am the one. Okay? Let's proceed. All right, now, here we are, First Samuel 2. I take you from 6. You see already Abba Yehuwah put, put his signature on any evil that is going on on earth. He says he's the one that is responsible. Okay? Uh huh. Uh, six now. And Yehovah killeth. You see, he said he, he is the killer. He said Yehovah him. I, I do the killing. He killeth. Okay. So when anyone die, Yehovah said, "I'm the one that did it." In order for you not to give, give glory to Satan, I did it. He killeth and make it alive. He is the one that determines who to live and who not to live. If you want it to live, you live. But if you just want it to die now. Uh, if we have released a weapon, wh whether by accident or bomb or whatever, or by ISIS, it don't care. It, they, 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 they cut off your head. Or if it is accident or you just sleep, you don't wake up. He said he killeth. And he's the one to also make alive. He bringeth down, oh yes, to the grave. That is correct. Okay. And he bringeth up. That is correct. Okay. He brings up. He brings to the grave. He asks you to go to the grave. Now I don't want you to live on my earth anymore. I'm done with you. Your wickedness is just too heavy. I can't handle Go away. If we are released, maybe by accident, you can't even sleep and not wake up. It would take his breath away from you. And Yehovah said, and Yehovah make it poor. Oh, 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 where there is poor. Any poverty you are going through now, Yehovah is the one that did it. You see the beggar on the street? Yes, Yehovah makes them to poor. Mm? The beggars. And make it rich. Oh, it makes them not trump to be rich, okay? Be, be gate. It doesn't matter whether you have to burn a girl or not. It make you rich, okay? And wherever the richest man on earth, he make he makes you rich. All this Oyedipo, all this Chris Akinome that is dying for wealth, yes, he make you rich. <laughs> but you wait for the answer at the end of it all. And lift he bring it down low. Yes, it makes some low. And he lifted up. Yes, he raised some heart. Is the one say he is the one doing it, okay? I am the one. Here I am, Genesis 2.9. And out of the ground may Yehovah Elohim to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, and tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and what? Evil. He created evil. His signature, any evil activities that is going on on earth, both visible and invisible, Abba Yehovah, he put his signature. I am the one that did it. Okay? So let's see how Abba Yehua is doing some of this evil on earth through me. Revelation 17, 17. For Yehua had put in their hearts to fulfill his will hmm, and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of Yehua shall be fulfilled. This is how he's putting it. Okay, I says you want to slaughter so, okay. He will just put in their hearts. Before you knew it, then we will hear that the, the river turns blood. The slaughter souls. Abba Yehovah put his signature and will come to why he, why he did that. Listen now. Proverbs 16 4. Yehovah hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the evil, for the day of evil. So he created the wicked to, to walk wickedness in the days of evil. Like what we have been established. If you want to make somebody poor, he just releases demon of poverty. He will now begin to walk. Without pausing, you okay? This person, I don't want him to live again. We just release a death, which is called a bad death. Don't go and slaughter somebody like this, like this vision that keep coming coming my way. A notable man of Edo. This man is Edo notable man. This vision keep coming, but this man is, is a wicked animal, because I'm be praying for more than two, three years now. This vision has become to me. I'm be praying for this man, but Abba Yawa said no way. Where the appointed time come? I will get him off my earth. It's an evil man. Very weak. It's an occult man. Yes, it's an occult man. You know, he's rich, but his wealth is blood money. Okay? He's taking people's glory in order to, 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 to prosper his wickedness. Abba Yawa said, for that reason, I'm going to kill him. He keep coming, and this man is going to die mysterious death. It's an Edo man. He's a notable man of Edo. And his death is going to cause a lot of alerts 
amongst the Edo's community. He keep coming and be praying, but when that man's die, he's going straight away to the bottomless pit and later on to the link of fire. He keep coming, he keep coming and be praying. He said, no, I'm just waiting for the appointed time to get him off my earth. Okay, so when such a man die, know that Abbe Yewa is the one that do the killing. Okay, it's about to happen among the Edo's. It is a thing that has already been said. It must happen. No amount of prayer will change it. Abba Yehua makes up his mouth because he has been revealed and been praying, but he still keep breaking it. The man will just die mysteriously. It's an a young man, not an elderly man at all. But it's an evil man, very wicked man, blood money. Uses people's stars, uses people's blood. This man sat upon many of those heads. All his friends, they were just under his seat upon their heads. Using their glory, using their start to prosper his wicked. It's an occult man to prosper his wickedness. In a, that is, he took every one of his friend glory down to their occultism. That is how he got rich. That is how he got his wealth. But Abba Yehua said, I raise him up and I will bring him down. I allowed you to do it, but you are going down the grave for it. It's a young man. He will die mysteriously. So this is how Abba Yehua is doing it. That man is about to go. His time is almost here. Uh, first, this is how he's putting evil. He says he's using evil. Now, that man who is going to kill that man, it is Abadedo, evil spirit, the angel of death. Okay, the day you will touch that tree, you shall surely die. That is the angel that is about to slaughter this Edo man now. Okay, first king, uh, first king 22, 19 to 23, I take. And he said, Yea, thou, therefore, the word of Jehovah, I saw Jehovah sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him, on his right and on his left. Who is the angel of his uh, right hand? It is Yehoshua Hamishak. We know that already. And who is the angel of his left hand? That is the evil angel. It is the Abadedo. And all this group, the one they call Jesus, the Jesus, the very devil. Uh-huh. 20. And Yehovah said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramath uh, Gidlet? And one said on this manner, and the other said on that manner. This is a discussion going on concerning this evil Edoma. He is going to die now. 21. And there come forth a spirit. Listen now. A spirit and stood before Yahuwah and said, I will persuade him. I am the one to kill this Edoma. This is Abadedo. And Yahuwah said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in his mouth. In the mouth of all his prophets, and they and he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also, and go forth and do just that. And now, therefore, behold, Yahuwah hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets, <laughs> and Yahuwah has spoken evil concerning you this day. Yahuwah has really, really spoken evil concerning this Edoma. This is about to die. It's about to die. It's about to go. It's about to go. <laughs> Where this man is going? He's so horrible. Straight to the abyss of torment. Because he's a wicked man. Here I am. We are looking into Abba Yawase is the one that is responsible for evil. He is the author of confusion. Wherever war is going on on earth, he said he's responsible. Psalm 78 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and he and uh, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. The one we just read in first king, those are the evil angels that stood on his, at his left hand side to do wickedness, to do evil, to cause you pain. Yes, that is how Abbe was ordained it. You will know why he did that. Listen, now here are the some of the reasons he did it. Second Thessalonians 2, I take it from now. Evil him whose coming is after the walking of Satan with all power. Do you see the evil power over there? The unholy power? And signs and lying wonders. That is the unholy power of Abba Yahweh will be deceiving you. And with all deceivableness, okay, and of all righteousness, okay, in them that perish. Because they received not, because what? Because they received not the love of Abba Yahuwah. In truth, that they might be saved. For this cause, Yahuwah sent them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they might doom and perish. Okay? So, you see already, Abba Yahuwah releases his love to these folly deities. Like, Take my love. They not turn his love against him. So, with that hunger, and I say, okay, no problem. You turn evil. I'm going to also use you. You turn wicked. 
you are my property. I'm going to use it to work with your own people. So in their kingdom, it is Abba Yehovah is the author of confusion in their kingdom. That is how their kingdom is divided against each other. You see the life wonders that is going on in the Christian door. No problem. Abba Yehovah did it. 100%. He did it. Okay? You don't want to believe truth. No problem. Oh, you sleep. Jesus revealed it to you. Abba Yehovah will even give you Jesus. Powerful revelation to come and reveal it to you. You see, put things in their heart. He will, Abba Yehovah will even keep person. Say, I bring to the grave. He will say, no, okay, go and raise this person up in the name of Jesus. Yeah, he will raise the, eh, hey, Jesus has resurrected somebody. Abba Yehovah is the one doing it. To, why? To make you believe a lie. Okay? To make you, so that you will be destroyed. That is why he's doing it. Here I am, Psalm 66, verses 5. See another thing Abba Yehovah is doing to mankind. Come and see the works of Yehovah. He is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. You know, King David was a great slaughter, a slaughter. He was a great slaughter. He slaughtered uncountable soul. When you go to first what Samuel, see first Samuel 18, maybe 25, 26, or whatever. Where Saul want to make him his son in law, what did he use to pay back price? The brother price. What, what did he use? 200 head of the Philistine. Saul only asked for 100. David said, Don't worry, I will double it for you. Human beast head. When you go into the battle of King Dawi, he slaughter a lot of soul. He said, Come and see, they do it, it is terrible. Because Abba Yehovah used him to slaughter a great uncountable soul. David, King David, we just go into a city or a country, he will slaughter both children. His doing is terrible. The World Trade Center, Abba Yehovah did it. It's terrible. Do you see car? We just, you know, you see accident is going on. It is Abba, he's doing. <laughs> it's terrible towards the sons of men. <laughs> and the worst of it all is on his way coming. That was one way that we wanted to build him a temple. He said, no, your hand is filled with blood. He never said your hand is stained with blood, but it's filled. You slaughter a lot of my, you know, creature, you know, a cre uh, creature. You won't build, you will build me a house. Your son would rather do that, okay? Okay? <laughs> it's what is terrible. King David saw with his own heart, eh? What Abba Yehwad did to the sons of men? His dealings? That is what you and me is going to see now in Sharia law. Let's go to Sharia law. What Abba Yehovah is sending unto this earth Sharia law? Revelation, you can read Revelation all nine, uh, 9. I read only 15. And the four angels we are loosed, which we are prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay third part of men. Just to kill third part of men. If this have to happen today, that is 2.5 billion soul is going away. It will be wiped out of the surface of the earth. Here I am, First Thessalonians five eighteen. In every thing, give thanks, for this is the will of Yehovah in Yahushua Hamashiach concerning you. Do you see what he said? That was why he said, in every situation, in every circumstances, in anything of any kind that you see here on earth, he said, giving thanks for is His will, and this is where it make perfect sense. This is where this power make perfect sense. You can't tell me all oh, good Yehovah, all oh, lovely Yehovah, all oh, merciful Yehovah. Calamity like this is going on on earth. He just sit there and watch and do nothing about it. It only makes sense if he is the author of it. That is where that makes sense. So if he is not author of it, therefore he is he's powerless. He's not all powerful. Not at all. Therefore, which means some if power is overpowering him. No, so this is how he became powerful. All power belonged to him. Good power, evil power there is. You receive good thing today, he, he gave it to you. You receive bad, he gave it to you. This is where he now makes powerful, perfect sex. That he responsible is the author of confusion, is the author of peace. Is the author of life, is the author of death. Is the author of riches, is the author of poverty. Is the author of joy, is the author of sadness. This is where he now makes powerful sex. I can all good Yehovah. Evil is going on. He just sit down there watching. No, it's not all good. This is where it now become balance. 50-50 is good, is evil. 
Here is the good part, uh, here is the good part, and here is the evil part. That is where now make perfect sense. He can do good, he can do evil. Okay? To me, the first uh, the first term of this earth, this is how I bet you want just want to, you know, this is how you want to run it. This is exactly how you want to run it, okay? You want to mix it with evil. 50% good, 50% evil. Okay? So that was why he said you should give him thanks in all things because he's the author of it all. So let me see if I will be able to establish the second point. Formerly, I, I wanted to put all in clip one. But as you can see, I still have about three points. So in order for you to know where you belong, follow the second clip because I'm going to upload both together. Okay, just follow the second clip. So point two goes like this. Enslaving us, it is time to pay for it. That is another use of power. Okay. Here I am, Bereshit. Uh, 15 I take from 30 and he said unto Abraham know of a uh, shorty that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that is not theirs and shall serve them and they shall afflict them 400 years and after the uh, and also that nation whom they shall serve I will judge uh, and afterward afterward shall they come out with great uh, stop signs and thou shall go okay I read uh, 16 now okay I read it already so you really, it actually judged them with a great, you know, destruction. Just read Exodus chapter 12, way down to chapter 14. That was how he judged them. Isaiah 43 verses 3 said, I will give Egypt for your ransom. That, was how, that is how another power of Abayo, you touch his children, you go for it. Here I am, Jewel. Anyone that messed up the children of the most had the elect, you pay with your, your blood. Uh, Joel chapter 3 For behold in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Yehuda and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and we plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land all this you know synagogue of Satan all this Christian all this Islam they will pay so dearly for it for enslaving us and they have lot and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an high lot and a, and sold a girl for one that they might drink that is what is going on in the christian homosexuality and you know fornication jesus is having sex and uh, uh what they call him about their dog their ghost friend. is having sex having sex both with man and woman in that is what is going on that is what i saw I was so grieved in my spirit for yea, and what have ye to do with me? Oh, Tari and Zadin, and uh, Zadon, excuse me, Zadon, and all the coast of Philistine will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temple my goodly ple uh, pleasant things. The children also of Yehuda and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold into unto the gracious. The gracious, it is the Christian, the Greek. Jesus is Greek, okay? Jesus came from Greek. It is Greek deity, which simply called Jesus. That is Jesus today. That ye might remove them far from the from their own brother. Yes, Christianity remove us far from truth and did not plant us in lie, bringing us into the deities of the gracious and said that is our savior. You shall pay for it. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where thou have sold them, and will return your own recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters unto the hands of the children of Yehuda, and shall sell them to the Sibians and to a people far off, for Yehuda has spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare now for war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men, draw, let all the men of, of war draw nigh. Let them come up if you keep ready. That is what Abba Yawa said we should say. Jesus, of, of course, is your mighty man. Allah, your ghost fire. J wake them up. Because Abba Yawa said, let the weak say. If you keep ready, let the weak say that I'm strong. Yes. If you are not weak, you shouldn't, you, you wouldn't, 
you you, you shouldn't have dared make it war with Abba Yehovah by enslaving us, feeding us with the food, food of pig. Jesus is a pig, you giving us Jesus, you shouldn't. Abba Yehovah said, let this weak say that I'm strong. Don't say you, say let, you should say you are strong. That is all your men. Jesus, you, Jesus should be strong, okay? And Allah should be strong, okay? And uh, what again, your ghost fire should be strong, okay? The spirit of Baal your Baal should be strong, okay? But compared to Abba Yehovah's rod, <laughs> you are very weak. You are very weak. That is why he's saying to you, now we should proclaim this, proclaim it to the Gentiles, uh, to get ready for fight. Let the weak say that they are strong. He said you should you should be ready for strong and you want to fight. You should. Jesus should be should, Jesus should say that he is strong, okay? First of all, your ghost fire is going to prisoner because he enslaved us right from Genesis 3. He's going into prisoner. Family, I want to continue with the second clip. Make sure you follow because the other two uh, points I will I will uh, establish it in the second clip. Uh, Revelation 20, 1 to 4. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless spirit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bind him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless spirit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled after when he's coming back. Okay, we know who is this angel. Okay. It is Allah. Allah is going for prison. That is what that is the signs of Islam. Islam said the Hebrew that is the true Messiah. To us, it is he is the true Messiah. He said he will never submit to Allah. And that, that is how they also know the first Messiah. That is their first Messiah. And they said Jesus is the one to destroy this first Messiah. Okay. So Jesus Mahadi, the Messiah can't do it, but Jesus will do it. And after Mahadi has finished his work, converted the whole world to Islam, therefore Mahadi will go his way, he will die. And afterwards, Jesus will come uh, and the, oh no, uh, the anti-Messiah, which is the Hebrew Messiah, 